Prime 15 video newsletter. What's up guys, it is time for this week's video newsletter, the part of the week where we update you on what's going on with Thrive, what's new up on the site, and let you know we are listening to you and creating new content just for you so we can give you the answers to the questions that you are asking. Starting off, we are going to go check out some new content. We're gonna ride around the corner here, over here in this, in this corner of the office. This is known as Daniel Nix land. This is Daniel Nix. What's up guys? He's the guy that directs all the shoots. So whenever you see Clay and Caleb on set, he's over there calling the shots. So he's kind of he's kind of a big deal. Dan Nix, we've got some new stuff up on the site, uh, including an episode called Big Time Branding on a Small Budget. Let's talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, this is about, uh, Clay talks about some tips and tricks that you can use to uh, brand your company affordably. He has some tips about their uh, making your logo professionally. It's, it's a good video. Okay, and then that's in the branding section, the mar marketing section right there, yep. right? And then we have another one talking about um, in the execution section. It's called Lazy Thoughts versus Challenging Thoughts. That's with one of our Thrivers of the Month, is that right? That is true. And what's that one all about? Um, basically, Clay encourages you to open up your mind instead of saying, I can't, uh, thinking of things like, how can I? So that's a good video if you want to increase your mindset. Okay, and so that's with one of our Thrivers of the Month. It's in the execution category on the website. You can go check that out, brand new training. We're gonna go this way as we talk to you about more content requests. Thanks, Dan Nix, appreciate it. In the meantime, as the cameraman trips over stuff, just wanna make it one pause real quick. This is perhaps the gl most glorious mustache you've ever seen. This is Justin. What's up, guys? The mustache, mustache's name isn't Justin. That's Justin. I'm not sure what he calls his mustache. I'm assuming it's a, I'm assuming it's a good, it's a good mustache name. Okay, so content requests. We're gonna see if the cameraman can pull this off. Content request coming in from Tom. He asked, "How do I create a positive culture among negative employees?" Well, we have new training on there. It's not even really new training. It's just training that Tom needs to see. Uh, management creating a daily office culture of success with Brian Smith. I definitely recommend you check that out. It's in the management section. Uh, David is asking about managing employees that can't be fired. Right, and here's the fun part. We're gonna go down these stairs. Let's see if you can do it, cameraman. Let's see. Let's see if you can do it. I'm, I'm excited to see what he can pull off here. So David's asking about managing employees that can't be fired. So we're talking about maybe like nonprofits or maybe the military. Uh, setting a vision for your business, also in the management section. How to keep quality people engaged and bad hires off of the team. Another Brian Smith episode training. <laughs> and another one I definitely recommend that you go check out. And lastly, Brian is asking about how to train managers. A lot of management type requests. In the management section, creating a magical, or magical organization with Lee Cockrell. Again, man management are questions we get all the time, and I definitely recommend you go check out those three specific series. Now we are wandering into Deidre Detterman's office. She is the owner slash founder of D2 Branding and also Thrive's PR guru. This is Deidre right here. Hey guys, how's it going? Deidre, talk to us a little bit about some of the new PR stuff, Thrive in the new stuff that the Thrivers yes. can check us out to see where we're at. Awesome, I actually was just getting ready to post this on our social media page. So Clay Clark go. had an article that went live today and it's in Business News Daily, which is awesome. Um, and he, he gives advice to entrepreneurs on ways to avoid burnout. Because oftentimes burnout happens, you know, you're working 12 hour days, Absolutely. you're the janitor, you're the CEO, you're all those things, mm -hmm. and it's hard to avoid burnout. So. And where was that listed at? This is bus Small Business Daily. Small, Small Business, business daily. daily, okay. Yes, and then we've got, um, Clay Clark also has another article in businesstips.com. Okay, businesstips.com. So another great one with that. And then Paul Pressey, one of our mentors, who is awesome. Absolutely. The assistant coach assistant the coach of the Lakers. That's yeah. right. Yeah. He is gonna be in Success Magazine Okay. coming up. So he's got a great article, and it's basically on what, he, what you learn on the basketball court that you can apply to business. So we've got mentors, we've got people showing up in news media outlets all over the place. Deidre's being humble though. Deidre, don't we have a podcast with you? Oh, yes. A podcast yeah. with you that just came out, is that right? Yeah, so Smart People Podcast. Okay, Smart People Podcast right there. And I guess you have to be smart, I'm not real sure why I was on there, but anyway. She <laughs> tricked them, but she is on there. She's on the podcast. Yeah, exactly. No, so it's fun. It's great. It's business advice, basically how I started my mom website, sold them. Um, it's just a, a fun little media deal. So Awesome. Thanks so much, Deidre. Appreciate okay, it. Okay, thank you. Hey Thrivers, Dr. Z here with a quick coffee moment. I love reading John Maxwell. What, what an awesome guy. And he always says, or one of the things that he says, is always keep your eyes open for people with potential. What does that mean? I was 
I was in a restaurant the other day, and the waiter was such a sharp individual, got everything right, was on time, tight, tight, just boom, 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 and I said to myself, I want you to come work for me. And they said, well, I don't know anything about the optometry business, or I don't know anything. I said, I'll teach you, but you've got what it takes. So I'm encouraging you as you build your business that people can, you know, it's hard to train what's inside a person. You can easily teach them to push a button or to fill in a blank or to do the task you need them done. So get that inner core and be looking for them from wherever. Maybe at the next restaurant you're at, you're gonna hire the waiter. Hey, maybe there's one around here you need to hire. Thrive on. That's gonna do it for this week's video newsletter. We hope you enjoyed it. As always, content requests, go to info at thrive15.com, shoot us an email. That's how we're gonna create new trainings for you in the future. And until next week, thrive on.